Hello, in this video we're going to do a lot of perfect competition algebra-based problems that look at how to solve the firm's, the competitive firm's profit maximizing price, quantity, and profit. Problem 1. The market price in a perfectly competitive market is $20. A perfectly competitive firm has a marginal cost given by 0.5Q, where Q is the quantity of the competitive firm's output. We want to find the profit maximizing price, output, and the revenue for this firm. So profit maximization in perfect competition requires that price equal marginal cost. The profit maximizing price is given to the perfectly competitive firm. The perfectly competitive firm is a price taker, taking the going market price, the equilibrium price is a given, so that's going to be $20 and we're going to set that $20 equal to marginal cost. And then we're going to just solve for Q. So dividing through by 0 0.5, 20 divided by 0 0.5 is 40. So this profit maximizing firm will produce 40 units of output and sell each unit at the going market price of $20. In terms of the revenue, this firm will earn revenue of price times quantity. The price is $20. We already saw for the quantity, so this firm will be earning $800 of revenue. I'm not going to calculate the firm's total profit because I do not have the firm's total cost equation. Let's move on to problem two. In problem two, the market price in a perfectly competitive market is $100. A perfectly competitive firm has a marginal cost given by MC equals 2 plus 2 times Q. So a slightly different marginal cost structure. Going to find the profit maximizing price, output, and revenue for this firm, like the last problem. So once again, we're going to set price equal to marginal cost. And then we're going to solve for Q. So at first subtracting 2 from both sides. So 100 minus 2 is 98. And then dividing through by 2 we get a profit maximizing output in this problem of 49 units and the firm's revenue is price times quantity so 100 times 49 gives a firm total revenue of four thousand nine hundred dollars moving on to example three or problem three a perfectly competitive firm has marginal revenue and marginal costs given by the following equations marginal revenue equals fifteen and marginal cost equals q once again find the profit maximizing price output and revenue for this firm so slightly different than the first two problems uh... but the key thing here is to recognize that in perfect competition and perfect competition only price equals marginal revenue so in perfect competition, in perfect competition only, this condition is true. This condition does not hold. It does not hold under monopoly, for example. So the profit maximizing price, the equilibrium price, the going market price, the price in which quantity demanded equals quantity supplied in the market is $15. And all we're going to do now is set that price equal to marginal cost as we did in the first two problems. So price equals marginal cost. What is marginal cost? It's just simply given by Q. And we found our answer. The profit maximizing output is 15 units. And revenue is going to be price of 15 up here times a quantity of 15 down here. And we have our profit maximizing revenue. Moving on to problem four. So problem four. A perfectly competitive firm is characterized by the following. A total revenue equation of 12 times Q. A total cost equation of the following. We are given marginal cost. Okay, With calculus, marginal cost is just a derivative of total cost or the slope of the total cost equation. And we want to find the profit maximizing price. Uh, profit maximizing output and profit and so on. So let's first with the profit maximizing price. So that is not given here, but we can we can back into it. We know that total revenue or revenue is price times quantity, P times Q. So in this problem, 12 times Q is the firm's total revenue. So the 12 represents the profit maximizing price. This is the equilibrium price in this competitive market. 
So the competitive firm will take this $12 as a given. Another way of thinking about this is that the slope of total revenue equals marginal revenue. So the slope of total revenue is just a linear equation. Uh, it had a, a slope of 12. And so in this case, marginal revenue is 12. And as we learned in the uh, previous problem, in perfect competition, price equals marginal revenue. So once again, price is $12. In terms of the profit maximizing output, we're going to set this price equal to marginal cost. So $12 equals 0.25Q. And we're going to solve for Q, the quantity of output. Doing that, we get 48 units. In terms of revenue, price times quantity, the $12 times the 48 units, we get our revenue. And in terms of total cost, we're going to take this 48 units and plug it into the firm's total cost equation. I do down here. And simplifying that, we get $290. So overall, this firm has profit of revenue minus cost of $286. $576 minus $290. Okay, moving on. Problem five, a perfectly competitive firm with marginal cost equals Q lowercase q in this example, operates in a market characterized by the following market demand and supply conditions. So this is the market demand, and this is the market supply. How much output does this competitive firm produce to maximize profit? So the first thing we need to figure out is the equilibrium price. So we need to solve for the equilibrium price by setting quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied. So I'm going to set the, these two equations equal to one another. And we're going to solve for price. So adding 100p to both sides, we get 200p. And then dividing through by 200, the equilibrium price is $100. So for the competitive firm, the competitive firm is going to produce where price equals marginal cost. So 100 equals Q. So the competitive firm will produce 100 units of output. OK, moving on. Problem six. A perfectly competitive firm has marginal costs given by the following. The market price, equilibrium price, is $18. Solve for the firm's profit maximizing output. Setting price equal to marginal cost. Subtracting 18 from both sides, so 10 minus 18 is where this minus 8 is coming from. We get something like this. Just rewriting it. So we have a quadratic equation, so we could solve this using a quadra quadratic formula, uh, but this will factor nicely into the following. And so for this for this left-hand side uh, to equal 0, you could have Q equals minus 2, negative 2 units of output, but that makes no economic sense or has any economic meaning, so we can ignore that answer. On the other hand here, if Q is 4, okay, this would equal 0, and that will be our profit-maximizing output. Okay, moving on. Problem 7. A perfectly competitive firm has average cost and marginal cost given by the following. We got this average cost equation, and we got a marginal cost equation. If the, if the market price is $5, how much profit does this firm earn? Setting price equal to marginal cost, so 5 equals 2 plus Q. Solving for Q, the competitive firm's profit maximizing output is 3. In terms of profit, profit can be thought of as price minus average cost multiplied by the quantity of output being produced. So in this case, average cost at three units of output, plugging this three units of output into the average cost equation and simplifying, we get $5. So profit is price, which is the equilibrium price of $5, 
minus average cost at three units of output, which is $5, multiplied by the profit maximizing output, which is three. So we got five minus five here in parentheses, so that's going to be zero. So this firm would make zero profit in equilibrium here. One thing to note, or another way of backing into profit in this example, is that total revenue is price times quantity. So the price is $5 times three units of output, so the firm has total revenue of $15. We could back into total cost by doing the following. Total cost is simply average cost times quantity. So average cost is $5 times three units of output. Our total cost of producing three units of output is $15. Another thing just to keep in mind here, we could back into the total cost equation by multiplying this average cost equation, multiplying it through by Q. And doing that, you would have the following total cost equation. And if you'd plug three units of output into this equation here, you'd also see that total cost is $15. So regardless of how you back into total cost, we can think of profit also as total revenue minus total cost. So 15 minus 15 is zero. All right, that's all my problems. I hope you found this video helpful.